Okay, today is Saturday, June 1st. So, uh, uh, main job today is getting that uh, table cleared off and start cutting out the uh, the clamps for skinning the, the wing. Uh, yesterday I uh, uh, masked this all out and uh, painted it with flat black and then gave it another coat today. Uh, I didn't bother painting this because it was already in pretty good shape. Uh, the only thing that I missed, I must have taped over uh, uh, this I think I taped over the whole uh, entire hole for some dumb reason so I just need to uh, to tape that over and, and paint that final little bit flat black so unfortunately I didn't get out here till uh, later so I, I didn't get a ton done but uh, uh, I've got the first one uh, traced out uh, I'll come back out tomorrow and, and cut it out so I think the uh, the plan is to uh, is to cut this first one out and then use it as a stencil uh, so I can mirror it on the the other one that's going to be cut out and make sure that they they match of course uh, I've got to add a, a little bit of a margin on here uh, right now this this trace is the uh, the exact same size as this I just used one of the ribs to uh, uh, as a template so uh, uh, this will have to be uh, made you know like half an inch on each side uh, to account for the the foam that's going to go on the inside of the of the uh, clamp, so I guess it's a little bit of progress. At least I got <laughs> something done. I got a little bit more stuff cleaned up on the the table, obviously. So okay, today is Monday, June third, twenty twenty four. So uh, just getting this uh, fitted. Uh, so uh, my assumption was correct. I did need a little bit more space there on those. Uh, so this fits just fine, uh, even with the, the skin on it. Uh, so that part was right, but the uh, the leading edge extensions were still about a sixteenth of an inch off, especially towards the end. So the the angle still wasn't quite right. So uh, I had to shave a little bit more off and uh, then epoxy it, and then I'll uh, and then I'll sand it smooth. The epoxy isn't super necessary; just keeps it nice and flat on the uh, on the inside. Uh, I haven't made any progress on the the wing yet. Okay, today is Sunday, June 9th. Uh, sorry about the noise, but I have to leave that fan on. So uh, I I put a very very light coat. Uh, on this and uh, just for the purposes of uh, color matching and there was just a, a couple tiny little uh, uh, drip marks that I had missed uh, that the first time I, I sanded those smooth and, and got everything nice so I think uh, this is the final, final time I, I touched this I didn't even bother doing the bottom I, I'm not even sure the color is off it's just uh, this had a few spots where uh, I had touched it up and, and hadn't done a great job of it, so I sanded it down, did it properly, and then uh, uh, gave it a very, very thick coat. Uh, uh, and I did the same thing, uh, and that's the per the real purpose of the fan. Uh, well, I guess for both of these, but uh, uh, so the, that top part, uh, I sanded it down with the 400 grit, just very, very lightly, uh, just to get uh, kind of a smooth roll. I know it looks like there's stripes on there, but they just uh, it's just from uh, uh, the initial uh, roll on. I, I don't expect those to actually show. So I uh, I gave that a, a little bit of a, a sanding and made sure everything was smooth, and then give it another uh, very thin coat, same as same as this. So it'll look just a little bit better. And you know, depending on the lighting, you couldn't even see it, but you could see some roller marks uh, from uh, where I didn't. Uh, you know, roll all the way down. Uh, one thing that I found really helpful, uh, instead of doing the, the like the three D scan and getting everything uh, in that way, I just used one of these. Uh, you know, uh, that they're meant for put doing flooring and stuff like that. But uh, you know, I, I could get the exact uh, I could get the exact shape of both the uh, uh, the bull nose there and the uh, the angle uh, uh, of how uh, you know how that mounts onto the uh, uh, onto the edge there. I need to give this uh, two days to dry. Uh, I'm going to leave the fan on there. Uh, I decided. Uh, so what I was going to do 
is just leave the fan, just leave the fan overnight uh, this, this, at this temperature and uh, with uh, very little thinner. Uh, it actually dries pretty quick, so I'm going to leave that fan on there and then come back tomorrow morning. Not super, super worried about it. I, you know, the, the first time I, I made a, a hut, and that was definitely necessary because I had to put so many coats on. But, uh, but for this, uh, I'm just going to uh, uh, to keep the fan on it uh, to blow any loose stuff uh, uh, away from the, the thing because it's drying. As soon as I get finished this nonsense over here, uh, I will uh, I will get back to uh, I started I started tracing this uh, and then I got busy with a tail. Uh, and didn't do and didn't finish it. So uh, as soon as I get this nonsense back here finished, uh, it's back onto making the clamps and uh, pro sealing the skins onto. Okay, the today is Wednesday, June twelfth, twenty twenty four. So uh, I got to the point of getting almost all the bolts in. Some of those are a little difficult to get in just because of where they're at. Uh, so I'm going to leave that. All the ones on the bottom are in. Uh, I just got to put the, the top bolts in. Uh, both of these uh, leading edge extensions are on and they swing freely. And uh, with the uh, the weights in the front of those, it makes a huge difference in the uh, uh, in the pressure on the sticks. I can't really demonstrate it because it wasn't really that hard before, but uh, uh, it's just you know it's light as a feather. Uh, you know I'm. You know, I, I can do this with my pinky. <laughs> it, it's very, uh, uh, it's a noticeable difference in how much, uh, how balanced it is now. So uh, uh, these are on, they're ready to be riveted on. But uh, while well, the other one is completely, uh, other than uh, the very edge there, uh, uh, that one is completely repainted. So it doesn't really need to be doing anything. But uh, that one, uh, uh, I'm just going to uh, leave on the, uh, on the stable later and just uh, paint it in place when I go to do these. I'm not going to do it tonight, it's just getting too late. Uh, one other thing I forgot to mention, so uh, uh, I 3D, this is really super cheap uh, PLA because I knew I was going to uh, uh, to have to do this several times. Uh, I just need to uh, uh, to make it a little bit narrower uh, and possibly make the, the, uh, you know, the curvature just slightly more squat. Uh, than it is, but uh, uh, that's going to be the, the fairing that goes over there, and of course uh, that'll get sanded and, and painted. Uh, I'm going to uh, trim that down a little bit and uh, uh, and give it another go. Eventually it will be done in polycarbonate, the same as the uh, uh, the landing light, and then I'll sand it and, and paint it to me. Okay, today is Thursday, June 13th, 2024, so hooray! Uh, this is uh, completely uh, finished. Uh, leading edge uh, extensions are uh, uh, riveted on. Uh, I'm leaving the, the fan on uh, because I just put a fresh uh, coat of paint uh, and it worked out really well the last time. I just left the, the, the fan on overnight and then came over in the morning. I need to get a timer for it, but uh, uh, I'm coming back in the morning tomorrow anyway, so I'll shut it off then. Uh, it just uh, uh, it works out well. Uh, the paint drives uh, fast enough that uh, nothing gets in it, and the the, the uh, fan keeps uh, the little bit that uh, that's falling vertically uh, from uh, sticking in the paint. So uh, I'm just going to do that again, and uh, it worked out great last time. Uh, it took a little while to get that all bolted on the back there, but uh, looks pretty good. Uh, I, I do I will have to do some uh, some touch ups, but. Uh, like uh, I want to put some fairings along the edge there and uh, where the the uh, leading edge extension meets the uh, the stabilator I I can't show on the uh, on the plane because the paint is drying but uh, so uh, I made this first one that was clo a little bit closer to the uh, profile of the edge of the wing but it was both too wide and the, uh, the convex uh, shape wasn't quite right. So uh, I did this one and it's extremely close. It's still just a little bit uh, too big. I also made it thicker for some reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, so this is, I think this is actually 0.1, whereas this one was point, uh, f uh, 0 0.05. Uh, so when I do the, the, uh, the next iteration, uh, this part here will be slightly uh, less convex so it'll be a little bit flatter 
and uh, the width of this will be another uh, either 0 0.05 or uh, 0.1 uh, inches uh, smaller uh, in width and then it'll just be really nice and snug uh, the angle is perfect already I don't need to change anything so it will you know it'll fit on like that so that is uh, the job for tonight and I'm really happy that the back of that is completely done shouldn't say completely done because there's still some fairings to make on the on the front uh, and uh, rear end of that uh, that assembly but uh, the the big parts are on so uh, I guess that is it for tonight okay today is Friday June 14th 2024 so uh, got uh, this one and that one uh, done uh, made a tiny little boo-boo there with the uh, the saw so I just put some uh, filler in it and waiting for it to dry so uh, uh, these two are done and I basically need to make uh, six more. Uh, the rest of today was kind of cleaning up this uh, table and getting uh, this linkage put back on for the uh, uh, the trim tab at the back of the stabilator. So uh, everything back here is done. All of the painting is done back here. Uh, uh, I just need to make those uh, those fairings that go in the back and in front of the uh, uh, the uh, uh, vertical stabilizer so uh, uh, I'm pretty happy with how this is all turned out so as soon as I have the other six of these I can start cutting them in uh, in halves and putting the hinges on uh, so they can uh, start I can start uh, fitting the uh, the skins on the wing okay uh, the skinning has begun so uh, I just pulled this one out of the uh, uh, the crate over there. I don't know if you can see it uh, through all the, the junk there, but there's a whole bunch of wing skins in a box over there. So uh, I basically draped, draped this over just to convince myself that uh, uh, this was exactly the right size, and it is, and it matches up perfectly with the uh, uh, where uh, these two meet. So uh, uh, obviously I, I need to take all of that... Uh, uh, plastic off which is not fun at all so I've got uh, four of those made I still need to make one more uh, so um, uh, they need to be doubled up uh, what needs to be done under there uh, you can see that uh, that fuel line coming out that's uh, where it goes into the uh, the fuel bowls Th that's bead solution for the lowest possible point uh, in the, the wing because it'll all flow into that bowl, so you're you know you're guaranteed to uh, uh, to get as much fuel as possible out of it, so that they hang uh, you know underneath the the wing over there, uh, and, and there's one on each side obviously. So uh, this is just hanging here just uh, just to give me kind of a sense of accomplishment and to to double check that it that it fits right and it does. If I wanted to really do it perfectly i could have put guides all the way around so it would just might be you know i could just run it up against the edge and not have to worry about uh keeping it up against the you know the profile uh you know like here uh I, what i did was i just got it very very close and then used the uh, the die grinder to just kind of go G -g 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 along the edge uh to get it close and it doesn't have to even be perfect because there's going to be a a half inch of uh, of foam uh, that goes uh, around the edge there to uh uh, uh, that grips up against the the wing uh, and the hinge is just going to be a, a, a strap of metal uh, and a bolt on each side of the halves and if it's not obvious these all get cut in half this one's going to be a little more uh, uh, work because I got to cut the hole for the uh, the fuel bowl and uh, when it comes to do this one uh, I've got to figure out okay how long does that need to be and uh, you know where to cut the metal luckily that one's right on the edge so it's not very difficult but still needs to be done so uh, and, and there's you know there's tricky parts to all of it uh, that one has the fuel bowl the the center one will have uh, the uh, uh, the cutout for the the uh, the fuel drain and uh, this obviously is going to be the uh, most intricate part because this has to be cut exactly straight uh, around the uh, the frame of this uh, so you know it's measure 
117 times and cut once because you don't get a second chance so uh, that will uh, that one will probably take a lot of time you know uh, making sure that everything is perfect so when I uh, when those get uh, glued on I have a nice profile here where I can just put the uh, uh, the uh, plexiglass over uh, acrylic whatever you want to call it and this one here is only two feet wide the rest of those uh, that one and the one in the middle are four feet wide this one is two feet wide so they all add up to 10 feet so each wing is 10 feet long so uh, really looking forward to getting this skinned and I guess that's it for today. okay today is Wednesday June 19th apologies for the uh, sound quality it's just under 400 degrees in here so uh, I don't want to turn the fan off. Uh, just real quick, uh, so this is the final iteration of, uh, of that fairing uh, with the uh, uh, rivet indentations in it. And it, uh, I, I made it, ju uh, I adjusted the curve here a little bit and, and the, uh, the width of it by about a tenth of an inch. And it fits like a glove now. Uh, so this is the final iter iteration. The only thing I gotta change is the uh, uh, these indentations need to be about uh, 0.05 ish uh, uh, I'll test it I'll bring both of these home uh, but it, the these aren't quite big enough and the holes on the inside aren't big enough for the uh, the dimpled washer so what if I can get that to focus so that is a dimpled uh, uh, rivet washer <coughs> so uh, uh, the idea is to you know have them laying in there flat and the, the washer's not uh, sticking up out uh, so it can you know lie, lie flush in there and I, I may even have to make uh, the, the outside skin just slightly thicker but I don't think so but anyway uh, uh, so I need to take this home and, and find out just how much bigger each one of those circles need to be and then I'll uh, uh, I'll just go ahead and print it out in, uh, in polycarbonate instead of doing another one of these because I, I know it's the exact size that I want and these almost this almost fits. I just I didn't have I didn't think to dimple washer and bring it uh, uh, home with me when I was designing it. So uh, I knew how big the washers were, but obviously you know there's some variance. Yeah, I just need to make the the, the holes just slightly bigger. Uh, that that inside hole there. Whoops. Uh, so that inside uh, dimple uh, is also wider than than this hole the the one that goes all the way through. So that needs to be made just slightly larger as well. Uh, so I will uh, get to that when I get home. Okay, so uh, I've got uh, three of the uh, uh, four that I need to make done, uh, but I'm just going to call it a night tonight. So these get uh, doubled up, and then uh, uh, I'm screwing them together first, and then I'll cut them in half, you know, here and, and here, and then put a, a hinge on them which I'll just make from scrap metal. Uh, so uh, the only thing really left to do on this one is I'm gonna get some proper size screws. I had to actually had, uh, use some leftover ones and just cut them off <laughs> short on the other side. So I'm gonna get some uh, screws that are a proper length uh, and uh, finish this uh, later. I think I've got some at home. So I think that is it for tonight. Real quick video here, so I finished, uh, this is the first uh, polycarbonate printout, so uh, uh, this is finished uh, printing, uh, and I got all of the, uh, uh, all of these washers that I pre-dimpled, uh, I got it, uh, uh, them epoxied in, and the, the top here, because the way I printed it out, uh, there was a little bit of roughness where the, uh, the, the uh, supports uh, because it's polycarbonate, uh, uh, that's party, probably part of why it did that, but uh, it was a little bumpy uh, uh, after removing the, the supports uh, on the, uh, the the way it printed out. So uh, <coughs> I, uh, I sanded them down smooth and then put a, a very thin layer of uh, epoxy over it, and then when it dries, I'll sand it smooth, and it'll they'll both look the same. I'm going to let this one dry and then start printing out the, the next one and... Uh, I really should have printed both of them at the same time, but I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to see how this turned out before I, uh, I I printed a second one to make sure that you know these washers would fit, and it was perfect. So uh, I'm going to print out uh, the second one now.
Okay, today is Friday, June 21st, 2024. So, uh, I guess this is the main attraction for today. So, this finally arrived. Uh, it fits very well. Uh, they got the measurements exactly right, and it looks to be extremely well made. And I don't expect expect there to be any issues uh, the only problem is uh, these are very very tight fit and I'm having to uh, uh, shave these down you know a thousandth at a time until it uh, until it slides in because it's just uh, almost impossible to uh, to get those uh, to get those in with the uh, with the bushings in there uh, I took a picture with it all connected uh, without the bushings mounted properly, I actually had them flipped around the other direction <clears throat> just so I could get the, the thing in and, and take a picture of it. But uh, uh, I'm going to come back tomorrow and finish this uh, and uh, uh, shave those. Uh, both of these bushings need to be uh, shaved down just a little bit more. Uh, they're sitting over there. So uh, that is the state of that, but I'm really happy to finally have this. And if I have time tomorrow, uh, I'm going to uh, to mount uh, the engine on there because uh, I've had this hoist for a while, <laughs> expecting <laughs> expecting to be able to do it a lot sooner. But uh, uh, that is that's going to be the job for tomorrow, and I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, uh, I didn't get anything done on the uh, on the uh, uh, wing uh, rib clamps, so uh, that will uh, I think that's going to just take uh, take a back seat to getting this on because this is way more exciting <laughs> uh so uh yeah but that's it for tonight i uh it's going to take too long to to uh, keep shaving those and then trying to put it in and, and finally getting it to fit so uh, i'm just going to leave it for tonight the other side project i had uh, was uh printing this out in polycarbonate so this has been uh, uh sanded down smooth uh the uh, because of the way uh, i had to print it there was a little bit of uh, uh, roughness right here. Uh, if you know anything about 3D printing, uh, like if something's hanging over too much, uh, you have to have like standoffs, supports for it, and the supports left a little bit of roughness there. So uh, I sanded that smooth, uh, filled it in with epoxy, and then sanded it again, and it's nice and perfect. Now you'll, uh, it won't look like that when it's painted. And all these uh, uh, countersunk uh, rivet washers went in real nice. They're perfectly flush, and when that's painted, it will look really nice. And this uh, is a this fits like a glove. So uh, again, uh, I'll try to remember to uh, eventually put the uh, uh, the STL uh, or 3MF or whatever format you want to use uh, to uh, uh, to print those yourself if you want to if you want those or if you want to modify them. Okay, today is Sunday, uh, June thirtieth. So, uh, as expected, uh, this one also fit like a glove. This is the uh, uh, just the other side of the two uh, the two uh, fairings that I made uh, on the uh, 3D printer, and the, the, this scuffed part is where I uh, I sanded uh, where the supports were. So, and there's a little bit of uh, epoxy to kind of fill it in nicely. The other big job is uh, this motor mount. So. Uh, this is just a very large washer uh, shaped to, to fit on top here. Uh, the bolt is a little on the long side, but when I ordered them, uh, uh, I wanted to air a little bit on the long side. Maybe aired a little too much on the long side, but uh, uh, again, I can put a, a spacer in there because the, all the strength is, you know, where the pin is. Like right now, I've uh, I've just got a couple of uh, uh, bushings that I had laying around. Uh, uh, I've just got a couple there to use as a spacer, but I think I'm going to make a proper one and make it like super thin. Okay, today is Monday, July 1st. So the mount is finally on uh, permanently. Uh, the only thing I haven't done is put uh, um, pins in these. Uh, I, I might go ahead and actually wire them to, uh, to one of these, but I haven't uh, decided. Uh, I'll look at the... Uh, plans and see if they have any uh, recommendations and if so I'll do that. Uh, pins are obviously a lot easier. <clears throat> so uh, I don't know if you can tell but uh, this is two degrees down and two degrees uh, to the right and uh, the two degree is per the bead specs and I was recommended to go ahead 
and get a, a two degree a angle to the uh, right to offset the uh, the P factor of the uh, prop turning. So that's what I did. Uh, uh, it's uh, the 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 difference is so small it's kind of hard to see, but it's there. <clears throat> uh, if you look real close, you can tell it's just slightly off, which it's supposed to be. <clears throat> so uh, uh, the bolts I got uh, ended up being a, a tad long, so I made uh, some uh, spacers, and uh, uh, that worked fine. Uh, one thing uh, I had to do, and uh, it's so slight you can barely see it, especially since it's black. But I had to shave about uh, maybe two millimeters at the most, uh, either a millimeter or two millimeters. I did it just a tiny bit at a time until it was an, uh, enough uh, to uh, to clear. So uh, because there's more uh, pipes on the bottom uh, where it joins at uh, uh, at the uh, collar there, uh, that this is just a tad too wide. And it was exactly the same on the other side. I had to, uh, might be able to see that one a little better. I had to, maybe not. <laughs> I had to shave a little bit off of that one to get it. But once you shave it on, uh, shave it off, uh, this goes on really easy. So uh, they did it exactly to my measurements. Uh, I measured this, uh, I don't know, maybe 10 times <laughs> to make sure that I, uh, uh, I had everything right uh, before uh, I spent a lot of money having them make this. So, uh, uh, and this is certified to uh, uh, EASA standards, uh, EASA. <clears throat> so uh, uh, I'm not worried about uh, uh, the quality. Uh, it's uh, it's a good mount. It's an expensive mount, <laughs> but uh, um, uh, I'm not worried about it at all. Uh, we do have some uh, some puppies coming to the house, and you're probably going to see them in the uh, videos. Uh, uh, in the upcoming videos, uh, because I want to, you know, bring them out here and get them used to seeing people and stuff. And they're just cute as hell. Uh, I may not get to this for a couple of days, just, you know, getting the dog settled in and everything. So, uh, because there's two of them too, it's not just one. So the other project, I got all of the, uh, the measurements that I need. So, uh, um, uh, one of the commenters on, uh, the, the video before this one, Man, this there's just crap after everything after a while. This hanger, but anyway, uh, one of the uh, uh, commenters uh, on one of the on the previous video mentioned, uh, and I don't know why I didn't think of this, but uh, you know these are going to be really difficult to get. Up. I would basically have to drill out the uh, the bolts to get these off. So these are uh, uh, these have a thread locker on them. It's the blue thread locker, so that you can get them off. If it's red, you're you're dead. <laughs> They're on there forever. But uh, I use blue thread locker on those, uh, and the uh, uh, the small nuts are, are nylon nuts. But uh, the point he was making was that uh, if you ever got to take those off, it's going to suck if you don't have if you don't have uh, nut plates. So so I'm going instead of you know putting nut nut plates in, which would be difficult. Especially I don't know if they even make them that big. They probably do. But uh, uh, instead of that, so uh, <clears throat> so what I plan to do is just make a flat uh, piece that has all of these uh, pre uh, pre drill or pre uh, holes made in them in the uh, 3D print, and just use the same material as this made this is made out of, and uh, uh, just have it uh, held on by these. And then it holds these uh, nuts secure. So I, I, I think I will uh, put some uh, epoxy uh, in where those uh, nuts are, um, uh, very lightly, just to just to hold them in place. Uh, so you know, if I do have to have to, ever have to screw them on, they'll stay exactly where they are. Uh, so uh, it'll be a little bit of a job. Uh, the, of course, this middle one will be a little bit bigger. Uh, but uh, uh, that was a very good point that he made uh, to have those as nut plates or something to keep the hold onto the nuts because once uh, once the skin is on, it's going to be impossible to get those nuts to to take the uh, these lights out of you know if, if one of them ever dies. And, and one of the other things I, I thought of too was these just aren't that expensive. Uh, maybe just go ahead and get this same model and just put them on a shelf. So if these ever die, I don't have to, you know, te tear everything out and make a new mount if they if they don't have the exact same light as this. But they last so long, you know, if I just get one spare set, I think I'm probably good. 
but yeah, uh, definitely want to uh, uh, to make some uh, pseudo nut plates uh, to uh, uh, to put on the back of this, and uh, and I'll make that STL available as well when uh, when uh, when I'm done uh, putting everything together. I still got to update the the website. I, I I mainly just put videos on YouTube, but uh, one of these days I'm gonna uh, get busy and and actually update the website and put a do a proper log from all my notes and everything so uh, when that happens I have no idea because I am so busy right now <laughs> uh, trying to find time just to do this is, is, a, is a bit of a chore but anyway uh, that's what's uh, coming uh, coming next <laughs> Okay, today is Thursday, uh, July 4th. Happy Independence Day. So, uh, spent a little bit of time this afternoon getting the engine out of the box. And it's a little bit of a job, uh, both getting the, the, the box taken apart. I just didn't want the box to be in the way of everything, so I took the whole thing apart. Uh, so, uh, one issue is just uh, I have to inch this forward a little bit uh, to get it uh, in place and so I've just kind of jerry-rigged uh, enough to just to take a little bit of weight off the engine so I can move it forward because the uh, the crates just a little bit too wide uh, the other job that I did so this is just cheap the PLA plastic uh, so this will mount on here and you can see uh, there's enough of the bolt showing through that I can uh, that I can bolt those on uh, that's a happy coincidence uh, that uh, the bolts that I had were actually way too long, but it proved providential because they're just the right length now. <laughs> so I just need to uh, to make the changes on this one, uh, uh, print it out again in this cheap stuff, uh, make sure that everything fits, and then print it out in uh, polycarbonate and, uh, and do it for real. Uh, so... Uh, not a huge job, uh, and uh, uh, it's just something I can sit down and do at home. Okay, today is July 5th, 2024. So, as you can see, uh, the engine is finally mounted. Uh, there's no more box over there. Or at least, all there is is remains of a box. So, uh, this was mostly straightforward. Uh, of course, uh, I was doing it by myself, so, uh, uh, you know, just you know, tweaking things a little bit at a time, going uh, back and forth, just making sure everything was lined up. But for the most part, it was it was pretty easy. Uh, the uh, it's about 450 degrees in here with uh, 110 percent humidity, and uh, I'm about to lose consciousness from uh, from uh, sweating so much. So if I start to sound like Joe Biden on debate day, uh, that's that's what's going on. It's really hot out here. Uh, and it's really humid. So, uh, mount uh, worked flawlessly. Uh, I realized that that wheel has been sitting so long that it needs a little bit of air because uh, with a lot of weight on it, uh, it's a little squished. It's not flat, but it's it's squished, so it needs some air. But I'll do that another day. I, I really want to get out of here. <laughs> so, uh, uh, this is done. The only thing that I did was, uh, uh, was get the engine mounted and uh, I'm going to declare success for the day and move on. Uh, I would have liked to have, you know, started looking at getting the propeller on and putting the flanges and all that fun stuff, but uh, it's just so stinking hot out here. So these guys back here, again, this is just uh, cheap PLA. Uh, the one in the uh, back is close. Whoops. Uh, this is on a swivel, so sometimes it moves. Uh, so uh, that is almost aligned, but not quite. Uh, so uh, those need to uh, move over. I need to make measurements for those before I leave. And uh, this one here, it's kind of hard to get on the camera because of the camera angle, but uh, it's off as well uh, by about the same amount. Okay, today is Sunday, July 7th. So uh, not a whole lot really to report. I uh, uh, got this cut in half. I finished screwing it uh, together on the other side. And just that one, uh, I still got a, a bunch of them to do there. So uh, um, that's basically all I got done today. The only other thing was uh, building the, those little uh, 
uh, brackets for for making the hinges so uh, that's the bottom end and the other thing I need to do uh, once this is uh, this is all uh, connected and everything is get some uh, some thick weather stripping to put along the uh, the edge of that uh, for a cushion for the the clamp uh, I did put it up on there and uh, there's a good you know half inch of uh, space all the way around uh, maybe not quite half an inch probably uh, closer to a quarter of an inch to a third of an inch uh, uh, all the way around so uh, um, the the weather stripping will have to be pretty thick but I'm not super worried about that uh, uh, it, this looks like it's going to be fairly easy to do uh, it's just uh, cutting those uh, all those hinges out out of this uh, scrap uh, steel that I have and you can see it's been sitting in the hanger a while it's got quite a bit of rust spots on it so uh, but that just sands right off so uh, I'll be making the rest of the hinges out of what's left of that and uh, and then getting on to the wing. But uh, for now, it is stupid hot, and that's it for today. Okay, today is Saturday, June 8th. So as you can see, I had a little bit of trouble uh, getting the uh, leading edge extensions uh, uh, fitted properly. The On this side, the, uh, uh, the extension was a little bit... Uh, uh, too close to here and that's more excessive than it needed to be but uh, uh, that'll get sanded down smooth uh, there's just a couple of uh, scratches in the side and uh, I noticed there was a little bit of unevenness in the paint on the top as well as uh, a small amount you can see those like stripes where I sanded there was a small amount of uh, uh, curtaining uh, you know because the because of the downhill slope so um, I think I'm gonna mix the paint just a little bit uh, thicker so it uh, uh, it holds uh, a little bit uh, straighter and the wasps just flew in here and I hope uh, he doesn't have any plans for where he went uh, so I, I'm I'm gonna wait until I get back to uh, to paint this and uh, okay today is Friday July 12th so uh, basically all I did today was uh, uh, finish putting this uh, clamp together. So that's the first one. I've got uh, uh, three more to make. Uh, I've got two of them uh, sort of in uh, half, uh, half finished uh, fashion. And then uh, I still need to make another one out of that uh, piece that's sitting there. I found this one inch at uh, Home Depot that uh, uh, it's a little uh, oversized, but it's fine. Uh, so uh, it's it's sticky enough to, to hold in place but it's not really meant for sticking up against wood so or at least wood that's not finished so uh, uh, I just used uh, that uh, cheap aluminum uh, tape to uh, uh, to hold it onto the board uh, long enough for me to use it uh, I did uh, put it over top of uh, one of those uh, uh, ribs and it's really really tight so uh, uh, not worried about it working and uh, I did all of these the same uh, I added a uh, half an inch uh, give or take uh, because the, I didn't do a perfect job with the router you can see it's kind of wobbly <laughs> uh, but this is just a little over half an inch uh, and uh, uh, it just it worked out perfect uh, so it's very tight up against the uh, uh, the rib itself, with the the addition of a layer of glue and uh, uh, and the metal the the skin. Uh, it's going to be even tighter, so I think it's about right. Uh, and I've got uh, you know uh, roughly uh, half an inch uh, uh, to play with as far as that uh, stuff squishing up against the the uh, the skin. So okay, today is Sunday, July fourteenth. 2024 so uh, I just came out here for another few hours uh, and last few days have just been brutal it is so hot here uh, hot and humid uh, so you know I try to wait as late as possible to, to come out here and do something uh, so I, I finished another one of these uh, clamps uh, so I've got one more to build uh, once that fourth clamp is done uh, it's time to start uh, fitting the uh, fuel bowl uh, and uh, I guess still got to take the plastic off of that. So I have to fit the, the fuel bowl under there, uh, get this plastic off, uh, get everything uh, 
positioned correctly, uh, get the uh, glue on there, and, uh, and then get the clamps on. Uh, as I've been going along, I've been testing these uh, on one of the uh, ribs on the, uh, on the plane, or on the wing, just to make sure that, uh, uh, that they're nice and nice and tight, and uh, all three of them are. So uh, these are basically ready to use. Doesn't have to be pretty. So anyway, uh, I think that's it for tonight. I'm gonna see if I can get my lawn mowed before the sun goes down. Okay, today is Friday, July 19th, so I uh, haven't been able to get out here for the better part of a week, or maybe exactly a week. This is the uh, second portion uh, traced out of that one. So this is the last one to do, and uh, I need to go get some, uh, uh, some better tape, and uh, uh, basically go all the way around those because it's starting to kind of peel. Uh, and I knew it would. Uh, they only need to last long enough to do two wings, but uh, uh, it's really humid in here and uh, uh, the tape is already starting to, to peel. So if I can run it all the way around, uh, it should be fine. So uh, yeah, this is the last one to do. Uh, and uh, I've got to print out the uh, final piece for, uh, uh, for that light. Next job is, you know, finishing these and uh, getting started on actually skinning the wing. I don't know if I'll actually get to the point of gluing anything on because it'll take a while to, uh, to get that uh, plastic off and to, uh, to measure everything and, and uh, uh, get the uh, position of the bowl exactly right. Uh, I guess that's it for now. Okay, today is Sunday, July 21st. Man, it's July 21st already. So, uh, uh, I finished the, the final uh, clamp, uh, it's got the hinge and everything on it, uh, all I need to do is get the, uh, uh, the little, uh, figure out some sort of a, a fastener hook for each one of these, but that's, that's minor. So uh, these are uh, ready to, do to go and uh, I can start uh, getting that uh, prepped for uh, uh, gluing it on permanently. Uh, uh, before I get that done, I do need to uh, finish uh, riveting all of the, uh, the the spar that runs along the back. Uh, I think what I'm going to do, uh, uh, especially lately uh, because I've been having to travel and there's large gaps between doing anything, I think I'm going to go ahead and publish this now even though there isn't a, a, a ton uh, to include. But I, I think I'm going to start doing that more often. Uh, just because the videos, you know, they get so long uh, and, you know, nobody wants to watch a two and a half hour video of somebody putting a plane together. So uh, I'm going to make these a little more digestible and it's a little, probably a little easier to edit a bunch of small videos than it is to put together a uh, one gigantic one. Okay, so. today is Monday, July 22nd. So uh, I got all of the uh, wrapping off of that. Man, that takes a long time. It's so hard to get off. Uh, I actually tried using a heat gun and it didn't help much. But anyway, uh, so uh, that is ready to go. The uh, underside is, uh, has been cleaned and I'll probably give it uh, uh, one more cleaning uh, when I go to, uh, to actually put it on because grime tends to collect in here. Uh, I need to uh, to scuff those areas where the uh, the pro seal will be on here and uh, so I started riveting this and I realized okay it's kind of getting late and uh, the uh, the nice thing about this my uh, squeezer tool this guy uh, it uh, fits around this nicely but uh, uh, because I can I'm, I'm going to, uh, to squeeze those rivets together uh, where the uh, the aluminum is. Of course, I can't do it on on these because I'd wreck the the aluminum. But uh, uh, for these, I'm gonna I'm gonna squeeze them down. And, and you know, normally there's like a little bulb there. Uh, you've probably seen them in other videos where I've riveted stuff. Because uh, uh, these are these are all blind rivets, right? So uh, if you can get a squeezer in there and really you know get some uh, really squish that uh, uh, that uh, metal. On the other side down uh, uh, just gives it a little bit more purchase uh, once I get it put on I'll scuff it and, and then uh, prime it but I, I'll probably just wait until I get all of them on at the and then prime it at all at the same time so that's a job for uh, for for much later I think it'll go on the uh, bottom side there uh, the fuel bowl uh, sits here and this is pretty much perfect where it needs to be already so 
uh, uh, the, this will sit at the bottom rear of the uh, fuel bowl, I believe. So uh, I've got to figure out exactly where to uh, cut the hole for that. And of course, I've got to uh, uh, bond that onto the, the skin as well uh, before, I, uh, before I actually get it, uh, uh, before I uh, pro sale everything on. But uh, uh, I think the hard part is just getting the friggin' plastic off of that. Is, uh, is is done uh, the rest of it is just is just getting it done I think well I, I guess getting the, the bowl put on there and aligned properly is probably uh, the most difficult part uh, uh, the rest of the rest of it is just you know glue it, glue it on and uh, uh, this will need to be trimmed as well uh, uh, I didn't I, I didn't take any off at all uh, and the instructions say to you know to leave a good eighth of an inch off the end, I'll, I'm just going to leave it on. It's easy enough to trim uh, where it is. So uh, uh, the reason for leaving an, uh, an extra eighth of an inch is because you need to uh, to to put the skin on and clamp it, and then uh, uh, and then mark your holes, go drill them, and then put the skin back on, and then uh, uh, counter uh, match drill the uh, the holes uh, into the uh, into here. Uh, so, and that's the only rivets that that uh, that will be on here is on the on the back side. The rest of it's all glued on, and then you uh, you just trim the, the the excess here, which is you know about an inch ish. Okay, today is Thursday, July twenty sixth. So uh, I've started riveting this. I've only got about half of it done. I probably showed in a, in another video, but you know it sits you know like. Uh, I can't remember exactly, you know, where along here it uh, it sits, but you know that basically that stem goes in there, and uh, I do need to drill a whole bunch of uh, uh, holes in uh, in the end of that. Uh, the, this comes off pretty easy, so uh, I'll just take it off and uh, and drill it then. Uh, and it needs a little plug on the end as well because everything has to come through the side. So uh, that's probably going to be pretty tedious. <laughs> Because uh, drilling something round like that is kind of difficult. So uh, uh, once uh, once this guy is uh, is all ready, and I need to find the uh, the plug. I'm pretty sure I saw it in my uh, uh, in my uh, drawers or bins full of parts over there. So uh, uh, I need to put the plug in this and seal it. And then when I go to put the skin on, uh, the skin will go on uh, the uh, the bottom edge first. Uh, and then once that is on, uh, you keep the uh, uh, the skin kind of off the top. Uh, uh, put this in. Uh, make sure it's all uh, pro sealed up against the uh, uh, the metal, uh, as well as the uh, uh, retainer clip. So there's there's also a a retainer clip that uh, that you know that mounts there, uh, just to hold the, the the pipe in place. Everything else I think is is ready to go. It's just a matter of doing this, and making sure uh, I understand exactly how to uh, pro seal this. And uh, there is a mention of. Uh, uh, and they don't really explain it well on the manual, but uh, or not in the manual, but the, in the drawings, uh, they don't really explain it well uh, about you know why you need to do that. And uh, I went through the drawing several times, and I can't see a reason to uh, you know to do. And there's very little like uh, uh, attachment points, if any. Uh, I, I think they're both like on one end and, and the other. Like there, there's nothing on this, so I can't see a reason for doing any of that before I get this done. And I'm pretty sure it'll be a lot easier to do once it's on the the, the plane, and it'll there'll be fewer chances of uh, you know things being misaligned if I if I get it on the plane and then uh, uh, start installing everything. Of course, I'll have a uh, a uh, a stand on one end, even though obviously it'll uh, it uh, it holds just fine uh, with it on there, obviously because <laughs> you wouldn't be able to fly it. But uh, uh, I'm going to keep a stand to make sure there's absolutely no sag while I'm putting the uh, uh, while I'm putting the, the control surfaces on, 
but I, I'm not going to uh, to do that. I mean, uh, while I'm uh, waiting for stuff to dry, I might uh, uh, I might work on that. But I'm I'm not going to do the control surfaces uh, before doing this. And I want to use that Pro Seal because it's been sitting for for a few months now, and I want to use it before I lose it. So. Okay, today is Saturday, July twenty seventh. As you can see, I'm starting to fit the uh, clamps that go over the skin for the, the wing. So I was basically um, getting everything in position and making sure that the, the skin was uh, would be exactly where it would be uh, when it's uh, glued and, uh, and riveted on at the back. Uh, so uh, I got the first two clamps on to get a, a, a good purchase on everything. And then I wanted to uh, measure back from, uh, from this position uh, plus half an inch because uh, that the design has the uh, the fuel uh, bowl uh, right where this mark is uh, that's eight point eighteen point eight three from uh, from this edge which is 0.5 more because these are exactly half an inch wide and there's another one underneath there so uh, the measurement is from uh, the edge of these two ribs that are together you can only see one uh, over to uh, to right here um, and I, I've marked the inch and a half back from uh, from this side uh, where it actually sits so it actually sits somewhere about here of course this is the top side it goes on the bottom but uh, it, it'll sit uh, about here so I went to uh, uh, check how well the uh, <laughs> the fuel line um, uh, lined up with uh, with where everything was and I realized I made a I'm just move, putting these clamps somewhere so uh, so I realized I made a, uh, a boo-boo maybe it's easier to do it from the top and you can see the line isn't there uh, the line is actually uh, there uh, can you see it uh, just barely uh, so it, it's sitting uh, uh, kind of flush with the skin, so I just let it rotate up so I can get the skin on. But uh, it actually, uh, it needs to go through, so there's a rib here, it needs to go through that rib and then down. Uh, so I uh, mismeasured the, uh, uh, the, the fuel line. Uh, not a huge deal, I've got a ton of, uh, uh, of spare tubing. So I just need to make a new one uh, that goes from that, uh, uh, that uh, connector that's about here-ish, uh, and then make it longer so it goes out to here, or sorry, it needs to go out to here, and then down, and then, you know, make a little uh, uh, jaunty thing down into the, the bowl. So I'm, uh, because of that, and I was getting ready to leave anyway, so I'm gonna call this uh, a day, and uh, come back tomorrow maybe, and, uh, and work on uh, putting that proper sized uh, <laughs> that proper uh, fuel line in there for the the bowl uh, so the, the the bowl will actually sit uh, right right about here where my uh, where my hand is so uh, uh, that's where I'm gonna leave it for day today I'm hoping I can get back uh, out here tomorrow and cut out the the hole for uh, uh, for the the bowl and get that uh, get that cemented in uh, with the uh, pro seal uh, and have that drying uh, and then it'll be on to uh, uh, it'll take you know a good uh, three or four days for it to uh, to completely cure uh, and then I can uh, uh, I can start working on actually uh, sealing this for good you know I'll double check everything I got to go in uh, and and clean the inside because it's all dusty from uh, being inside because it's once it's closed up, you know, obviously cleaning is going to be pretty difficult. Uh, putting these on uh, wasn't uh, a big deal. Uh, the only uh, thing I, I think I had trouble with was this one on the very end. It was a little narrow in one spot. I kind of marked it so I could go and put a spacer in there. But you can see there's a, a piece of uh, a piece of cardboard uh, in where it wasn't quite uh, thick enough and uh, same here so this one was just a tiny gap this one was a little bit bigger so uh, i just put some cardboard in there and now it's uh, super super tight all the way around uh, this one was perfect i didn't have to do anything uh, the only uh, other issues because i didn't trim uh, a ton of metal off the back of here uh, 
so I had to uh, you know cut a little couple little slots for the, the metal to go in so it would uh, it would sit without butting up against the uh, the hinge so uh, uh, the first attempt was just you know brute force and just cut out <laughs> some notches with the uh, with whatever tool was within reach. Uh, this one I did a little better job with the uh, die grinder. So uh, that one looks a little better. So I'll do use the die grinder for the rest of them. Obviously I I, uh, uh, I went a little bit too far there. So uh, the, the next one won't uh, be quite so quite so deep, but it's fine. So the other clamps are over there waiting uh, to uh, go on, but uh, there's no need because these uh, these two clamps were more than secure enough to get the skin in a position where I know that okay if I cut the hole here uh, it's going to be accurate because this isn't uh, this is very very close to where it needs to be uh, so uh, I'm not worried about you know cutting it in the wrong place just got to remember to cut it on the bottom not the top <laughs> so uh, yeah I'll I'll fix my boo boo with the the fuel line bring it over here. Uh, and then uh, start working on uh, sealing this up. So I think that is going to be the uh, the last uh, video before I publish this. Uh, the uh, uh, these videos uh, have just gotten so out of control long. They're getting to be uh, epic movie length, and uh, I don't think anybody wants to watch a video that long. And uh, uh, it takes a long time to to edit that, which isn't uh, a ton of fun either. So. Uh, 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 I'm going to try and keep these uh, a little bit shorter. This one's probably going to be longer than I wanted it to be, but uh, uh, the next one, I think I'll just do very, you know, minor steps and then and then go ahead and publish. Otherwise, these videos just get insanely long. And, you know, I, I go on a business trip or something uh, for a week or maybe even two weeks, uh, and, you know, nothing gets published. So, uh, it looks like I'm not doing anything. I'm just away from... Uh, from uh, from the hangar and I'm not able to, to get any work done. So so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, publish this and uh, uh, next video should show uh, the skin actually glued on and riveted and trimmed and everything. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's it for now. Thanks for watching.